presented by churchtechu.com. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, updating best practices. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever updated at the last second and regretted it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And if it panned out, okay, go ahead and hit it as well. So, this is something that every time uh, Renewed Vision releases a new version, I have people that are so excited about doing it that they go ahead and they update, and there's a problem. Now, it could be that the problem is just that the interface was tweaked a little and they can't find what they think should be there because it's moved. That happened with 7.5. Got a lot of frantic people confused about uh, the show controls being moved to the lower right-hand corner. That's one thing. Or it could be that there's a, a bug that is something that they discovered that Renewed Vision missed or something that they do maybe that's a little unusual that caused a bug to show up. Either way, here are some best practices for you to consider when it comes to updating ProPresenter or even updating your OS. First thing, do not update right before church. Never. Okay. With the exception of if uh, Renewed Vision tells you to update because you have a bug from a previous version that's giving you trouble and they're saying, hey, update, this fixes that bug. That would be the one exception to that rule. But in general, don't update right before church. It's just, there's too many things that could go wrong. And it's not necessarily Renewed Vision's fault if something goes wrong. It's not necessarily your fault. Sometimes it's just something funky with the computer. And you it, had you waited, you could have discovered it and fixed it before church the next time. So that's the first thing. Don't update right before church. Thing number two, update right after church. Now, the reason that I say right after there's some caveats. So what I mean here is update when you have the most time to fix problems. So if you have, um, let's say, a 9 and 11 o'clock service, don't update right after the 9 o'clock. That doesn't make any sense. Let's say that you have a weekend service and then you have like a Tuesday Bible study that uses Pro presenter as well. Maybe that's not the best time to update right after Sunday either because, you know, maybe Monday you're working, Tuesday, see, the, there could be a problem. So what you want to do is you want to look at your schedule and see where you have the maximum amount of time to fix problems. It could be that it's something simple, but I would rather have extra time rather than not have extra time. Next thing that I would want to do, once I've upgraded, I would run through the previous week's playlist. Just run through everything, paying attention to everything, you know, with the projectors on, everything. See if there are any gotchas. Probably aren't going to be, but it's worth the five minutes to just space through every single slide just to make sure there are no gotchas. Um... Something else that I would do is, if you have the ability to, I would go ahead and make the presentation for the next week early. If you do that, then you can run through that one. It could be that there's a slightly different element that uses an action you don't normally use, or it doesn't use an action that you normally do use. Something like that, that'll just give you a little extra time to find problems before uh, it's go time. So those are some of the best practices that I have when it comes to that. A lot of people say, hey, uh, wait a week, wait two weeks, something like that to make sure all the bugs are sorted out. For some people, that's a great way to do it. I think that it's overkill, though, to do what some people do, which is to keep their OS back two versions and keep 
ProPresenter back to versions, you know, just in case. If you've got special hardware that's not supported yet, I understand that completely. But if you don't, I think it's really a best practice to keep it at least close to updated. And if you run across a bug, go ahead and update a little early. Um, not, as I say, right before church, but with most time to check through things and see what's going on and see if there are any problems. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my Pro 7 Quick Start course, which I just remade just a couple of weeks ago. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Log in, uh, put your email address and name there so that I can make a login for you, and you can take that at your leisure. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.